The door beyond aisle 12, Jill, had been working at the grocery store for just over two months, doing the closing shift most nights. It was tedious, but she didn't mind the routine, stocking shelves, ringing up the last-minute shoppers, mopping the aisles. The night shifts were quiet, almost too quiet, and often left her with an eerie feeling as she locked up. The store had been as soon as she crossed the threshold. The door slammed shut behind her, echoing like a thunderclap. Jill spun around, fumbling in the dark. Her hand found the door handle, but it wouldn't budge. Panic swelled in her chest. She pressed her ear to the door, hoping to hear the familiar sounds of the store, beeping cash registers, the hum of refrigerators. But there was nothing, just silence. She turned back to face the darkness, her breath shaky. After a moment, dim, flickering lights illuminated a narrow hallway ahead. The walls were made of rough stone, wet and slimy to the touch. The air was suffocating, thick with the smell of decay. She wasn't in the store anymore. Jill's footsteps echoed as she walked down the corridor, her heart racing. As she moved deeper into the maze of damp, twisting halls, she began to hear faint whispers. They came from all directions, low and indistinguishable, like someone was talking just out of earshot. Hello, she called out, her voice trembling. Is anyone there? No response, just the whispers growing louder, more urgent. Then, from the corner of her eye, she saw movement. Something shifted in the shadows, darting just beyond the edge of the light. She froze. The whispers stopped abruptly, replaced by a deafening silence. Jill backed up, feeling the walls close in around her. Her pulse pounded in her ears as the shadowy figure moved closer, slithering along the walls. She tried to run, but the hallway twisted and turned in impossible directions, folding in on itself. The space stretched and shrank, the air growing colder with each step, and no matter which way she ran, the walls seemed to shift, leading her back to the same dark corridor. Her breath came in ragged gasps as she realized there was no way out, the thing in the shadows was behind her now, its breath hot on her neck. She could feel its presence, something ancient, malevolent, hungry. She turned around, and there it was, a twisted figure, its body barely human, with hollow eyes that burned like coals. Its skin was pale and tight, stretching over jagged bones, and its mouth was a gaping hole, black and endless. It reached for her with clawed hands, its fingers too long, too sharp, Jill screamed, backing into the wall, but the figure lunged. As its hands closed around her, the floor beneath her feet gave way. She fell into the blackness, spinning, tumbling endlessly through a nightmare void. The whispers returned, louder now, deafening. Voices clawed at her mind, pulling her deeper into the darkness. She didn't know how long she fell, seconds, minutes, days. Time had no meaning here. Her body felt weightless, suspended in the void, as the whispers gnawed at her sanity. Then, just as suddenly as she had fallen, she hit solid ground. Jill opened her eyes to find herself back in the grocery store. The familiar hum of the fluorescent lights buzzed overhead, the shelves neatly stocked. It was like nothing had happened, but something was wrong. The store was empty. No customers, no co-workers. And the aisles, they were different, twisted, stretched out into impossible distances, winding off into directions that shouldn't exist. The walls seemed to bend and breathe, pulsing like something alive. She ran to the front of the store, but the doors were locked. The windows showed only darkness, no parking lot, no streetlights, just the void. Jill was trapped from the far corner of the store, beyond aisle 12. The door creaked open again. The whispers returned. This time, they were calling her name, and Jill knew she would never escape. The door had claimed her, swallowed her whole. This place, this nightmare world, was her new reality. Forever.